Good evening, sir. Good evening. We are we are socially distanced. And I'm in the bunker. Oh, they kicked you down to the basement? I'm in the deep, dark swells of the basement, yes. Are you, are, the are land you of in, lost toys. Are you in purgatory? I think, I think so. Is but there's whiskey, well? so, so it's okay. That's not so bad. That's where you hide a lot of the, that's where you hide the surplus, don't you? Well, you know, I can't really go under the house. Well, it's too you much. could. Too much there. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they've carved out a space for you under the house, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have my, my Middleton box, so. <laughs> oh, you're all set? I think I'm ready. They didn't install like a full size like oven down there, did they? Like, and I mean full size, you know, our size. I don't know what you mean. Hmm. Okay, just I, checking. I did see some books on how to build a crematorium, <laughs> but that's normal, right? <laughs> Absolutely. They, they said it was a science fair project. Speaking of crematoriums, you you really got to go watch Ozark. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, so we got we got some whiskey here, and it's from we Journeyman did. Distillery. Where are they from? Are they Michigan or? They are in Three Oaks, Michigan. And the gentleman who started this, uh, Bill Welter, he was a golfer from Missouri State. Went to St Andrews over in Scotland after he graduated, and uh, met a guy from Tasmania working the golf course. Hmm. Well, he was at the hotel there. And he struck up a friendship and went back to Tasmania. And when he went to Tasmania, he went to go look at a distillery his friend was running, then spent some more time there working at other distilleries, came back here and went to uh, work with a master distiller, Robert Berkner, to work on a rye whiskey. And then he started Featherbone. Well, in the Featherbone factory, started the Journeyman Distillers. So in 2010, he and a brother started working on this. And 2012, they're up and running. So what we have uh, first up, uh, well, you have three over there. You got the fe the Featherbone Bourbon, the Last Feather Rye, and in the middle there is the Silver Cross Whiskey. It's a four grain. Okay. So you want to start with the bourbon? Start with the bourbon. All so right. The bourbon okay, is uh, the bourbon is a forty five percent bourbon and all of their whiskey is listed as organic and kosher what i find interesting here is i'm looking at their website and they're saying here let me see welter would further his education working with master distiller robert berniker and distilling the first really? and only batch of rye in the ravenswood neighborhood of chicago right i, I think berniker isn't that the koval guy i think it might be I'm so maybe that's where he got the idea for doing some of this different grain stuff Maybe because I mean they just happen to do a bourbon, and they do a four grain, and they do a rye. Right. And, so, and but, they do all that other weird grain stuff, the millet and all that other yep, stuff. Yep, 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 yep. But they do a they do a pretty nice job. So, um, so you know, this is uh, th this is their bourbon. Okay. Did I tell you the mash bill? And they do. It's seventy percent corn, twenty five percent organic wheat, and five percent organic rye. Ah, you like you like a weeded. So I this do might like be in, my weeded. This might be in your wheelhouse. And they blend the profile for each batch. So, I'm gonna guess they try to keep it consistent. This is batch 42. I'm not hey, sure by the way, how they what, do, what do I got going on here? Some swirling uh, and some amber. Yeah. It's got some booze dancing right. here. See? Dancing booze, there. dancing, dancing. Look at that, there we're we dancing. Are. It's like we're, a dosey -si do. We're, we're two stepping. Da, 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 da. Okay. I'm going to so keep doing gonna... this until I drop it, and then I'll spill it all over the, <laughs> the ping pong table. I don't know. That's, a, that's okay. The kids will be like, why is the ping pong table smell like whiskey? Yeah. Or they'll be like, why is the finish gone? It smells pretty good. Yeah, it smells nice. You know, for 45%, I thought it'd be a little vapory. It's not really so vapory. You know, I, you'd think yeah. at this point I could pick apart, like, the grain of the mash bill and say, well, it's a lot of corn, or it's a lot of rye, or a lot of wheat. Uh, it smells like bourbon to me. I was going to say it smells a little sweeter to me, which would make me think that it was probably – Higher in corn or weeded. I'm really getting just like a lot of sweetness, like candied sugars more than anything. Maybe a little bit of orange. Yeah, but there is there's something like in the background, like you know, like um, like a spice cookie. Yeah, almost like a ginger the, snap. The back in a rye. Yeah, it's it just smells nice. I mean, it's you know, like a, it's like a darker sugar. I wouldn't say it's like a powdered sugar. It's going for a, a wee taste. Ooh, much hotter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's a forty-five percent kicking in. That's uh, that's that's pretty hot. That's and it's spicy. It's spicy hot. 
So it, it, it that hits me as more wry than than they say. Yeah, I, it's it's That's it's nice. different. It's it's different, but it's not like I don't think it's particularly rich. Like it doesn't have like a thick taste to it. Yeah, and that might be you know that it, it, it's 2010 they started, so they might not age this stuff particularly long. That's kind of when you get more of the rich notes, I think, from the aging. Like I'm not getting a lot of barrel out of it. It's pretty good though. I mean, it's 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 clean. It's just it's very it's very vapory and it just kind of like, you know, what do I want to call it? Flames out kind of quick. Yeah, for 70% corn. I was expecting a little more sweetness up front, mm -hmm. and instead it's just kind of a, a good balance of flavor, but it is a short flavor and it's a short finish. Yeah, I mean there there's well you know let me go back I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna chew it for a little bit let me give it a little chew. I'm trying to think if it reminds me of like another type of bourbon that we've had. It is sort of light, even though yeah. it's spicy. It's not like heavy. It's uh, easy sipping. There's Certainly of... better than than a cocktail bourbon. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'd probably give this, you know, a, a B. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe like an a, a 86, something like that. Let me see what it says here. So USDA organic distilled and bottled by Journeyman in Three Oaks. Certified organic. Certified and, organic. Well, you know, what's it called? It's organic and kosher. Koval or Koval is also certified organic. Right. So I guess they kind of, you know, followed their, their way of doing these. Well, and I guess if you you know if you're going to get the grains and source stuff from certain places, why not go mm -hmm. for organic? You know? Yeah, why not? I mean, it, I'm sure there's more involved. You know, it's probably a little more expensive to do it this way, but yeah. Hey, why not? It's good. It's it's got a the finish is kind of short. It's not super long. It's all kind of hitting the middle of my tongue. You know, it's it's a little it's a little bit of dryness in the finish too. And that, that might be the wheat. Yeah, and it, it, it's a short finish, but yeah. it's nice. Let's go hit up the rye. Oh, no. Are we doing the four grain? Oh, the four grain. I'm sorry. We'll do the four grain. Oh, that's a little darker, I think. That appears to be a little bit darker. As their packaging appears to be darker. Yeah. It's a darker label. It's a darker colored whiskey. I'm going to do my little dance here. So this is this is the two this bottles the side grain, by right? side. It's the four grain on the on my left. This is the four grain here. Yeah, it's and considerably darker. Bourbon. It is a little bit darker. Like if I turn these around, let me just see. I mean, you could see. Let me see. Can they? Can you see these? It's a little bit dark. Yeah, it's a little bit darker. They're consider. I mean, darker label, darker whiskey. Yeah, you know, all that good stuff. Let's see what we got here. The Silver Cross also a four grain whiskey, uh, organic and kosher. The distillation is twenty five percent each. Organic rye, organic corn, organic wheat, and organic barley. Hmm. So like a little bit of everything. This this smells a lot different than the other one. Boy, there is a whole lot of flavor in the nose. It doesn't. This. It's not as sweet smelling as the other one. No, and that's I guess scaling back the corn from seventy percent to twenty. I'm sorry. What was what were the what were the four grains again? I'm sorry. Uh, rye, corn, wheat, and barley. Okay. Now what if so that's barley, the, I guess, gives it. Maybe a little more oh. cereal kind of nose to Yeah, it, right? maybe a little more body to it. But it smells really nice. It does. It, it's very different from the other one. This kit, it smells a little a little more bready, like doughy. Mm hmm You know, this has more of that malty, like you said, cereal yeah. kind of thing. We don't yeah, do we know the, the age. Uh, there's no age statement on that. Well, I went in, and boy, mm -hmm. that's uh, that's that's totally different than the last one. It's a little heavier body too. Yeah, a little it's more a little, body. To a, it. a little thicker, a little oily. Yeah. And you get a, a lot more flavor and spice, kind of blended. It's a little more mm -hmm. complimentary. That's nice. That is good. And that's a little bit more also full on the palate. A little longer finish. Yeah, like the first one was kind of in the middle. This one kind of goes from like the middle all the way to the front. like it, And it's like particularly like tingly right at the tip of my tongue. It doesn't quite hit yeah. the back, but it, it gets a little deeper. I think I like this one a little better. It's got that extra layer of something. Yeah, there's a little more complexity to it. You're right. You're right. It's got a little bit of something. And I don't know if it's the barley that's doing that. So would maybe. you go an A with this? B plus? I wouldn't. Maybe not an A, but I'd, go, I'd give it a B plus. I'd give it a, a marginally better grade. I'd go 88, 89. The other one maybe yeah. like an 86, 87. I might go as high as 90. I'm going to go back for one more little taste. I like it. It's good. 
Much like the, the trying the different stuff from Coval with the different greens. It's got a little bit of an oiliness to it. It's got a little more texture. You know, like the mouth feels a little heavier on this one. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, I definitely, I would stick with the 8089. Yeah, just more yeah. more to it. Yeah, nice. that's very, very nice. I like it. Let's move on to the third. All right, the last one. We've got the last, last Feather Rye Whiskey. And the last Feather Rye Whiskey is 60% rye and 40% wheat. Well, that's an even, that's an even, that's a different color. I wonder how it compares to the other two color-wise. So, well, and not just that, just most of these, uh, the, most rye whiskeys you're getting, they, they go 95.5 or they go right. 100%. I think it's interesting they went 60-40. Hmm. Wait, 60% rye and, rye and 40%? 40% wheat. I don't know if I've had anything like that. I'm not sure. Let That's interesting. Dance. Got to loosen it up here. Let it, let it, let it. Uh, agitate it? Agitate it, regurgitate it. I don't no, know. No, no regurgitate it. No, we won't do that. It That's a nice there. color, too. It is. It's pretty. You know, see, I got the studio lights up here. I got, like, one studio light to the left of me. Right. And uh, so, like, if we want to see the difference in color, wait, wait, hold on. Is it all right? No light? Light. Well, that's some lights. Yeah, that's some lights. So I got the one light here to the left. And, uh, yeah, it's it's positively, like, shimmery in, in the uh, – it plays nice with the light. It really does. Nicer than the – for whatever reason, it's a little different than the other two. So Amber's on the center stage, and she is. The lights are hitting her. Yes, she is. All right, I'm going in for a nosing here. So I'm getting a lot of again sweetness like the others, but now there's some maybe like a little bit of fruit, like bananas or something, a little citrusy. Yeah, there is a different there is a different smell, and I don't know if it's necessarily the grain or it's the the esters. I'm coming, well, Elizabeth. Think, <laughs> not Aunt Esther. I think Honest maybe to. when you get rid of when you get rid of the corn, that like sugary syrupy sweetness goes away, uh -huh. which were in the first two, and now you get maybe some of like the sweet rye or the the, the spicy rye and the sweet wheat going together. You know what? What kind of fruit did you say? Like bananas, maybe something like that. Look at that tasting note: ripe banana on the nose. Look at uh, you. Look at you. Almost like I know what I'm doing. You are a genius. You are a <laughs> You're a whiskey savant. Me and Wiley Coyote. I order most of this stuff from the Acme <laughs> Company. Acme Acme Whiskey Company. Yeah. Actually, the Acme there, Company. I wonder if there's an Acme Distillery. Brilliant idea. Let's do it. To the booze mobile. Let's do it. Acme Distilling. We can get maybe we can get Wiley Coyote and we could do like a Roadrunner Rye. <laughs> the Roadrunner Rye. How about the How about the Wiley Wheat? <laughs> the Wiley Wheat. That's good. Uh huh. Bugs Bourbon. I think somehow uh, we copyright infringement trouble ah. for copyright infringement. Ah, <laughs> whatever. Eh. Well, maybe we, maybe we can get That's for the lawyers to work on. Uh, exactly. You know, or maybe we approach them and, and you know we take it over. Wow, what a flavor! That is something. That is pretty good. You know me and and, and rye. You know it's it's too spicy for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very gentle. Uh huh. That's spicy. you. Where. Uh, you this is pretty good, though. I think the wheat balance is a nice light. But this has the wheat backbone to it, so it kind of mm -hmm. it, it rounds out the rye. That kind of mellows it out. That's that's not bad. That's actually that actually I may like that the best of the three so far. I may give that I may go B plus A minus on that. Yeah, I think I might go A. That's very nice. You know, but it's not super spicy. It's nicely balanced. You get a little bit of spice. You get a little tiny bit of sweetness, like on the back end, so it's not like overwhelming, right? You know, and and the finish is, is not long, but it's pretty good. This kind of hovers around the mid palate. It's not really up front or in the back. It's just all mid. It and it's a very pleasant finish. It's very. It's like gentle, but yeah. but not. You know. And again, forty five percent. You're mm -hmm. expecting maybe a little bit more burn, but it, it's nice. It's very pleasant. Mm. I like that. So you, so you go a B for the, the feather bone with we, we I think we went in the right order because it, it, they've gotten progressively yeah, better. They got, they got better, yeah. So you go B, and you go maybe B plus for the four grain, and then, and then I, yeah. A minus A for the for the, for the the rye. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And then, yeah. and, oh, you know what I just got? I think I just got like a little bit of, maybe a little bit of that banana you were talking about 
like in the finish, yeah. but almost like with uh, almost like a bananas foster. Oh yeah, with, yeah, 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 yeah. With that little bit of sweetness. Yeah, with the sweetness. You know, but not overly sweet. Just, just caramelized nice. sugars. Yeah, because you know how like you know how like um, like a brown sugar gets it gets a little bit. There's a little bit of darkness to it. Right. You know, but that's good. That's really nice. I like that. That is very good. Well, thanks for sharing these. Sure. I uh, I, I, I enjoyed them. I thought they were good. And uh, you know, enjoy the uh, lockdown. We got more stuff lined up, so we'll try to keep this. <laughs> we're going to try to we're going to keep trying. We're going to keep this train rolling. So look, it's off the tracks. Yep, yep, and not violate any of the uh, CDC guidelines. So we're doing good. That's true. Virtual cheers. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> not working. Here, hold on. Here, I'll, I'll bring mine. There to you the go. Edge. I'll bring there you mine go. Ready? To the edge. There you go. Cheers. There you go. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Let me let me stop this thing.